Hey fellow gamers, Tonester here again. Got another replay for you. I was trying to three mark my STA1, or STA2, pardon me. Um, had this tank for a long time and I didn't realize it's actually fairly easy to three mark. I'm not great at three marking tanks, but uh, was able to do it. Now one thing you'll notice down here in the lower left corner is that I, I do have a um, kind of um, a, this this here is inaccurate because I've already three marked it which is kind of funny but at the time uh, that I was three marking it I got up to like 94.9 and then back down a ways and then back up to 94.9 and I believe I was at like 94.8 at this point when I went to three mark it so this is I'll save you the suspense it is the three mark game um, but uh, Anyway, so I make some plays uh, that I might normally not make, and uh, the reason I do that is because spotting damage is very important. Um, it's as important as actual damage when you're playing a, a, on to three mark a tank. So um, normally I wouldn't get this aggressive. We are top tier, of course. Everyone's top tier because it's a tier eight game, I believe. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, yeah, it's all tier 8s. So I, I'm going up to this uh, little knoll here, and you can get early spots on guys that come around the corner this way. So we do fire some gold here, um, but uh, we're just trying to 3 mark, so that's why. So we're loading the gold now, and we've got a couple of guys spotted, and one of which is the defender. So we're going to go ahead and we're waiting to see if we can get a shot, but then we go ahead and take the shot because I don't want anyone to push up any further. And, and we're just... We're attempting to spot stuff for our campers. We have a Progetto and a Scorpion and uh, I don't know what a VK thinks he's doing in the back. But um, but now that that Defender is up close, it's, it's difficult for me to get spots without being spotted back. So, and, uh, so we're just working things around. So we're, we've only got 200... 40 damage but we've got 800 uh, spotting and I found that if I hit 3k combined that generally that was enough to to move the mark up so that's that's why we're just kind of moving around trying to get shots and trying to keep things spotted so this Patriot at this range the gun is accurate enough you're gonna see to hit that cupola and I keep the gold loaded because if I miss it just a little bit, then I can still pen it, basically. If I hit off to the side a little bit, I'm okay with spending a little credits to three mark a tank. This is my first three marked uh, tier eight. I've, tier eight. I've three marked a bunch of fives and sixes and one seven. So now we're moving up to eights. So, of course, we do end up... Uh, getting some more spotting we're up to about 2k but but we're not high enough that we can you know just abandon the game I, I need to get to that magic 3k at least and now we're firing HE because I I think maybe I can pin him with or kill him with HE and then uh, the defender moves up so so here um, let's see here so right here, I move over to the side because if he's got to come up, he's got to come way, way over in order to hit me. But if I'm over on this side, he can kind of side hill it and stay safe from all my guys in the back. And being I'm a one shot, the last thing I want is for him to come up and kill me. And then I've got to continue to try and get my mark. So anyway, that's that's what we're doing here. So if you ever get into a position where you've got a tank that's got bad gun depression, that's what you need to do. So this guy's keeping me permalit, but I'm keeping him permalit as well. 
and I'm I'm less and he's starting to back off. So the fact that he's backing off tells me he does not want to be permalit. And fortunately that pilot misses and watch him take damage. That is why that spot up there seems like it might be a good spot, but as soon as you're lit, you're, you just evaporate. So finally our heavy's coming up. I don't understand why he was camping in the back, but he was, you know, whatever. I'm just trying to get my mark anyway. And this, uh, this defender, <laughs> I get a very lucky bounce. Of course, it was a snapshot, you know. But I've got to get damage, you know. I've been at this for about, oh, three or four hours now, and I'm getting really sick of trying. So um, so that's what we're going to do is we're going to try and farm damage as hard as we can. I probably, that was probably a bad move. But at this point, um, I know I've got it. Because if you look down here, um, I'm like over half a percent higher than I was. So I know for a fact that I've got it. I ended up with 96.2, so I wasn't even really that concerned. I mean, I'd like to win the game, don't get me wrong. But we have a uh, positional advantage on them because we, we own, you know, about two-thirds of the map. And uh, their Artie's about to die, which is going to take it to 9 to 5. And I do have enough health to take a hit from this T-44 so my thought was, I want to at least proxy spot him, and then perhaps uh, shoot him, and we do, we do end up getting a rear shot on him. So, unfortunately, we don't get the kill. Now, this ends up only being a second class, and the reason is because I don't get any kills. Um... That factors heavily in your XP bonus, but it doesn't factor as heavily in your mark. So there are two kind of independent things. Really, damage and uh, assist damage are all that matter. So I stayed out here. The Progetto hit me, and I stayed out here to shoot that guy, which was really stupid because he's in a, there's a Progetto. He's got an auto loader, so why would I sit there? But at that point, I really didn't care because at that point, I knew I had gotten the mark. So we'll just fast forward this, um, and we do end up winning the game. So, um, which is also a nice bonus. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and go to the after action report. Okay, so here we are at the after action report. I mentioned this was only a second class, but uh, anytime you get that third mark on a tank, uh, it's a great feeling to see that on the screen. I don't get too many of them. I'm, I guess I'm not that great at the game, but um, it, it, it was enjoyable, so I'm really excited about that. We ended up with uh, 1,669 damage. We got 968 base XP, which is not fantastic. Uh, we, we actually earned credits, 11,000 credits, and but the big thing is spotting, 2,700 spotting. So that combination is, uh, you know, that's 4,400 combined, give or take, and we did bounce one shot. That was extremely lucky, and we ended up with uh, 1,065 XP. So I really do like the STA, uh, and it's actually a very fun tank. And the STA-1 is actually even better because it's got a little better rate of fire, a little better pen, just a little better everything. So I appreciate you watching. If you'd like to see more videos, uh, do subscribe. Uh, once again, like if you'd like to, comment if you'd like to, dislike if you want to. So we'll go from there. Have a great day.